Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these cute little shamrocks. Of course, St. Patrick's Day is coming up within the next week or so, so I thought this would be the perfect thing to show you how to crochet. Unfortunately, the yarn is a little bit dark now that I'm looking at it on camera. So I think what I'll do is I'll switch to a much lighter green so that you guys can actually see the stitches that I'm doing. So this is a really super simple project. It should not take you that long at all. Um, and the materials that you're going to need for this project are of course some yarn. My favorite as always is Red Heart Super Saver. I'm using this nice dark green forest green color. That's what I used for these, of course. What I'm going to be using for the video so that you guys can actually see what in the world I'm doing is going to be this bright, bright green kind of springy color. And of course, you'll need a crochet hook. I'm using my usual size G crochet hook and a pair of scissors to cut when you're done. Let's get started. So there are two ways that you can start this. A beginner way and a slightly more advanced way. For me, now that I know what I'm doing, um, the beginner way seems to be honestly a little bit harder. Um, I'll show you both ways in the video today though. So the beginner way, um, you start with a loop for your hook, as normal, and we are going to be doing a chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to go into the first stitch there and slip stitch. Now as you can see in this jumbled mess, if you pull apart the stitches, you'll see a hole right there in the middle. And we're going to be doing three petals in this little tiny hole, which I think is pretty ridiculous. I think that's super difficult to try and get in that little tiny hole. So, if you want to try the more advanced and I personally think easier version, I'm going to be showing you how to do a magic circle. That is the way that I've decided to try and do this. Um, if you want a more in-depth look on how to do a magic circle, I have a video posted on my YouTube channel about how to do it. I go a lot slower. I won't be going as slow in this video since I've already previously showed you how to do it in another video. So if you need a more in-depth look, I will link that video down below. But the basics of a magic circle, very quickly. You take the yarn like this in your fingers, wrap it around the back, make an X in the middle, wrap it around the front, hold this piece of yarn down with your pinky, go under here, over here, pull it through, under here, and through the loop. Like I said, a very quick way if you need a more in-depth look, I'll link the video below and you can do that. If you don't want to do this and you can't figure out the magic circle and you want to try the chain four, that's fine. Both of us are going to be starting with this next stitch that I'm going to tell you, no matter which way you do it. So we're going to be doing a chain three. If you're doing the magic circle, only do a chain two because to make the circle you've had to do a chain one. But if you're doing it the chain four way, do a chain three. Now we're going to be doing a treble crochet. Wrap the yarn around twice, insert into the hole, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And all of the stitches that I'm doing today, by the way, if you don't know how to do them or you need a more in-depth look, I also have videos of all of these stitches on my YouTube channel in my Beginner Crochet Basics course, which I will also link down below. <laughs> so there's one treble crochet. Now we're going to be doing a double crochet. Back to a treble crochet. And a chain three. One, two, three. Now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the center here whether you're doing the chain or this. 
And if you got this, and if you're doing it with the magic circle and your yarn kind of pulls away from each other, just kind of push it back into place there like that. Now with the magic circle, go ahead and pull on it a little bit so that you don't have as big of a hole to deal with. Next, what we're going to do is that same pattern all again. So this is one of the leaves. Now we're going to do a chain three. One, two, and three. Back to a treble crochet. Pull on this a little bit. A double crochet. A treble crochet. And a chain three. One, two, three. Back into here, slip stitch, slip stitch to finish off, and I'm gonna pull that right back to where it goes. There's two petals right there. Now I promise I know this doesn't look like a shamrock. I promise if you're doing the magic circle, by the end it will. Work another chain three because we're just repeating that same pattern over again with a chain three, a treble crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, And a chain three. One last slip stitch for the very last petal in our center circle. Pull that back to where it goes. Now we are going to be working on the stem. And I think here, if you're doing the magic circle, what you should do is pull that string that we've been crocheting into our work nice and tight and as you can see you now should have the same exact outcome as the people who were doing the chain four stitches. Now onto the stem we are going to be doing a chain six one two three four five six and then a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook so not this one here but this one single crochet then we are going to slip stitch in the last remaining stitches that we have so one two three And four. Now what I like to do is go up into one of the stitches here in the middle and slip stitch again to kind of bring our center, kind of bring our stitches back. Now what we're going to do is cut our yarn, pull through, and then I'm going to take what I just did, pull that to the back, and as you can see, you have a shamrock. Now we're just going to tie these two together. This one should not come out because we have been sewing or we've been crocheting it into our work the entire time. But because it's the only other string that we have and the other one isn't as tied down, we're going to tie these together to keep both of them from coming undone. And then I'm just going to weave them into my work and I'll be back to show you the final project. And there project. we have it, the final project. So of course this is what it would look like 
in the dark green if that's what you chose but like I said for this video I wanted to do it in the brighter green so that you could hopefully see the stitches a little bit better and that is it like I said really simple pattern um, you can put a pin on the back of this and put it in a hat or use it as a brooch or a magnet there's a million different options that you could do with this put it on blankets things like that put it on coffee cozies and mugs um, the options are basically endless it's just a small applique that you can choose to do whatever you want with it I will I think be selling these on my Etsy I hope to get them up at least um, if I see enough of an interest for them I will be putting them up if I don't then maybe not but we will see. I'll be asking my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages what they think if they'd like to see these in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, comment below and let me know or go on one of my socials and let me know there. Other than that, all of my links to my blog, socials, um, if I put this up on Etsy, this will, the link for that will be down below. Everything, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.